Hello, this is the first Photoshop text tutorial and we're in Photoshop here. We're just going to start a new document which you can do through File and New or you can press Ctrl and N on your keyboard if it lets you. There we go. And you can then start to choose the size of your document. Make sure that your width and height for the moment are set to pixels, not centimeters, otherwise you'll end up with an enormous document and tiny text. So let's have a, I don't know, let's go with 600 pixels by 600 pixels. Your resolution, um, color mode and so on might be slightly different to mine, but don't worry about that. And we'll just click OK. And there's your new document. Um, the first thing we're going to do is learn how to use the text tool and some really basic effects. So the text tool is down here. You can click on it or you can press T on your keyboard. And up at the top you get all your settings. So you can choose your font from an enormous menu. Um, I'll just use that. You can choose the font size. If it doesn't go as high as you like, you can type it in there. You can choose whether you want it strong is bold basically all the others are fairly obvious i'm going to have none there um centered in the text box and so on and you can choose the color of your text so let's make it if i use this slider up here let's have some red text and quite a sort of dark maroony type click ok and then you click on your canvas to start typing that's still quite big but that's nice because you'll be able to see the effects now once you finish typing don't just go clicking anywhere Go back to your move tool or press V. I'll click on it. There we go. And now you can move your text around. To make it bigger or smaller, Control T gives you free transform. So you can drag the corner to make it bigger or smaller. And when you're happy with what you've done, press Enter. And that is your basic text tool. Um, now we come on to effects. And before we go into any really fancy menus here. We're just going to look at the uh, standard text effects that you can apply. And you get that menu by double clicking the blue section of the text layer here. And this is the menu, layer style. So what we've got to remember when we're working with the layer style menu is two things, tick and click. The first thing is to apply any of these effects, you tick the box. So let's go with drop shadow, tick the box, and you'll see we've got a shadow applied to the text. Now, to change the options for that drop shadow, if we click the name of the eff effect, you get all the different options for drop shadow. Now, there are lots, so we can change the distance of the shadow away from the text. See what's happening there? If I just move that backwards and forwards. Let's change the size. The smaller you make it, the sharper it becomes. Again, spread makes it thicker. You can even change the color of the shadow. Like so. And finally, if I drag this around, you can change the angle which way the shadow is, or which way the light shining on the text effectively. Um, to get rid of the effect, you just untick it. But for the moment, if I just click OK, you will see that I've applied a drop shadow here because it tells you in the text menu and the menu on the layers and the layers panel. So let's double click again, play around with a few others, an outer glow, tick to give it the glow. You'll see it's a white glow there and click for the settings. Again, this one's slightly different. There are hundreds of blend modes. Have a play with this. Opacity means how see-through your glow is. So you can have it really see-through or not. Color here. Drop that down, you get lots of different options. Have a play with a few of them. This little arrow here gives you your options. There's your color setting. It's quite a subtle one, that. Um, Bevel and emboss is really nice. Let's get rid of those two and just do bevel because that makes your text look a bit 3D. There we are, like that. Click the bevel and if I want a contour bevel, I'll tick that. If I want to texture bevel, I'll tick that. Texture is quite nice actually. Um, tick contour. Let's have a little look. Style, inner, outer, emboss. So let's try outer. 
slightly different, prefer the inner. Um, again, how big do you want it? How small do you want it? How soft? How rounded out do you want it? Do you want it smooth or hard? Like so. So it's just about playing around with the settings. Colour overlay puts a colour on the top. Gradient overlay puts a gradient on the top. Pattern overlay puts a pattern on the top. And stroke puts a line around it. Which is nice because then you can play around with the size of your line. And really make your text pop out of the page. So the first thing to do is have a play with the layer style menu on your text tool. 